Hello you gorgeous ladies and some gents hopefully as well. Um, today we're going to talk about owl shoes, O-W-L or observation shoes and these are a fantastic pair that um, a lot of people, some people have a, a, a tendency to use but I think um, would be really useful for a lot more to actually make use of these um, because there's two ways that we actually wear these shoes and uh, I find that if you wear them at all you tend to be the person um, that will do the observation of others not of self so we're going to look at the two there's a bit of a dichotomy a bit of a split here so let's just get into it uh, the reason that I love owls if you think about it is that they um, sit up in trees and they um, observe don't they they in the woods uh, they can they're incredible they've got really long sighted vision um, they can see a mouse you know in in the grass from um, a long distance they can um, they're known to be wise um, uh, they they're typically quite um, calm creatures and yeah, I, I, I love owls. One of my spirit animals is an owl and I really love that. Is that when I sometimes feel that I'm not, I'm too in it, that the owl observation really helps um, get some more perspective and clarity. So this is one of the things about the owl is that um, the owl shoes is that when we are the other expression as if some people don't know it is I can't see the wood for the trees when you're so in the forest um, you don't know what's a shrub or a weed or a tree or a bush and it's like well which one works for me and this I gave this analogy at the beginning is like this whole thing is that you know when you become overwhelmed there's too much we get too stressed especially ladies I mean who gets this say so I you know because honestly I'm totally I'm totally there um, everybody has got so much to deal with that it's just one more thing one more thing one more thing and eventually the system can't handle and it just sort of wobbles and, and, and has a meltdown <laughs> and we want to try and prevent that from happening for people yourself whoever it might actually be and this is useful as well to help with others but what we want to do in that situation is to help you get out of that um, in the woods sensation if you're trying to do this by yourself perfect so what you want to do is pull yourself out so that you can get that bird's eye view that the owl gets that you can see when you know you fly over it oh there's a clearing over here and we can just go and have a little reprieve over there until we get some more clarity and you know see what's going on when you're in the forest sitting up in the tree you know what's what's happening in in the brush below you so that um you know what's safe what's um what's not safe, uh, where there's food, um, it gives you an, um, an observation view. So in NLP, in Neuro Linguistic Programming, um, which i am got my master's in, we talk about this as the third person. So it's a, literally the three. And we, I, one of the exercises that I sometimes do is I have the person, if they can't uh, visualize, because some people struggle with that, if you're more about feeling the kinesthetic approach, you stand in on the paper of the number three and you look at the situation as it's happening so um, and then you know liaise from it from a third person non-emotional point of view so when you can switch off the emotion that often takes control and sends you into even more overwhelm and generally a serious downward spiral in some cases. So what you want to do is try and avoid that. And this third position, this observation really does help with that. So um, it just gives you perspective and clarity on what could be working. Now, sometimes people need a bit more help with this than they realize because they're just so in it that they can't, they just don't even know how to do that. There are exercises, one that I would seriously recommend. Um, there's a technique that um, I offer, uh, which is like, I call it the movie theater um, exercise, which really helps you, um, you can you can purchase that if you want. It's not, not a big um, outlay, but it's totally worth it because it gives you um, a set strategy and technique so remember I was telling you how if you've been following me on my channel and if not please subscribe and do you know share this if you don't mind 
because you never know even if it doesn't help you specifically which i'd be amazed if it didn't put it most you know i haven't had a haven't had a failure yet everybody who uses this it goes into the toolkit but basically what I, I often talk about is a toolkit that's an emotional toolkit that we should all be equipped with doesn't matter how old you are you, you know this can be used with kids this can be used for adults it can be used in relationships to there's all sorts of things so this is all about your emotional resilience toolkit and this is another technique the uh, movie theater technique is another short um well it depends on how how in the forest you are um, but it's not a, a super lengthy exercise i mean i can normally shift stuff within say 15 20 minutes sometimes half an hour doing this exercise uh, correctly um and totally worth it you know so have a look you know it's on um I've, I've made it available and you can actually i'll put a link i'll get i'll get uh the guys to put in a link to link it to to where you can actually buy that and it's not expensive um so definitely worthwhile but this is one of the things that i like to do is have that um that emotional toolkit that you can go right um i see that this isn't working for myself or my child for my hubby for my whoever it is and um, I'm going to try this technique and then you can take out another technique to add to it um, you know to bolster it to help um, get rid of the residual excess um, or you know you go well I don't need that one that one and that one it's just like fixing your car I just need the spanner today or I need the you know the jack to pump up the, the get the car up to take the wheel off so it's understanding oh this is just yet another handy tool that I can use so this is the whole idea is that you've got this little toolkit so this observation point of view is um, where you can just mentally go there without having to do the technique see if it shifts it if it doesn't then do the technique um, or you just might be curious enough to do to you know buy the technique and then you've got that in your toolkit um, as an extra um, because it definitely does help and um, the idea is that you know when you're out of that uh, the woods you can't see the woods for the trees when you start seeing the woods you can tell what it is that's working what's not and then you can get some clarity you know that's that whole thing that with ours you know they get that focus and, and it's like um, you know now I know what I need to do you know and when you get to that and it's a non-emotional kind of point of view as well it's really key not to be emotional about it if you're getting emotional you've gone to in NLP terms you've gone into your uh, first position which is how you're feeling and um, it's all about me and my emotions and I'm holding on to it and you know <laughs> so you don't you don't want to be in the one when you're in the three the three the three is um, a really good position and one of the things I would suggest is to have some kind of protective visual or kinesthetic or both kind of um, barrier like a perspex glass or something that that can prevent you that goes right no emotion allowed in here that's really helpful as well so that's a, a, a quick tip that I can give you um, but really handy for that technique if you want to um, honestly you don't have to get it it's not this is not a hard sell for anything like that if it works for you fantastic if it doesn't no problem at all I'm, I'm equally fine I give you so much information here for free that you'll be able to create shifts anyway so entirely up to you um, but your support is always appreciated um, because it helps me keep my channel uh, going and there's all sorts of things that I actually want to do like you know um, get my book sorted and, and that not. anyway let's get back to the owl let's talk about you so one of the things that I love about the owl shoes is that it does give you that perspective and it gives you that opportunity to see what works and what doesn't but here's another way remember I said that there were two sides of the of the owl shoes there's two aspects or dichotomy the other side of the owl shoes is observation of uh, yourself within yourself so if you think about um, I think Joe Dispenza talks about this um, uh, there's a few few core leaders I think maybe Eckhart Tully as well talks about this where um, he, uh, how to be an observer of your own behavior when you're in the emotion which is quite interesting so it's stepping back again it's even further back uh, from where you are so um, I'll give you an example I went for lunch with some two of my really great friends 
and um, absolutely amazing uh, girls and ladies. And they said, um, it was interesting, uh, the one was saying, she said, oh, sometimes when I don't see eye to eye with my husband, she's really good at this observation point of view. I mean, I, even I don't get it right. So <laughs> even, you know, we're all on our journey. It's just some are further along than others. And she's she's cracked this one. I'm still got to go on top of it. So um, we're not immune uh, and we're all human. So she was saying that sometimes when she's not getting on well with her partner, um, she's able to go oh look at you go girl you know like look at you losing losing your rag and having a go and having a pop at you know so, and it's like you know who's controlling the situation there the emotion controlling you or is are you controlling the emotion and that gives her the ability to um let that excess uh, i think of it as the the boiling pot you know those pressure pots to if you let the, uh, the steam out it brings the emotion right down and you know to be able to be unaffected by your circumstances Wayne Dwyer talks about this a lot um, uh, so does Esther Hicks or Abraham Hicks whichever you prefer um, where you can be unaffected by what's happening outside you and just you choose your bliss, you choose your emotion, you choose what it is. Imagine how con how awesome that would be if you were always in a situation where the, there's chaos all around you, but because you're able to pull back into this observation role, you're able to go, huh, I had a, an, a, an interesting emotion there. Acknowledge, step back, go, wonder what that's all about. You know, because the, the owl is wise, he wants to know. And it's saying, that's interesting. Do I choose to get angry, to get sad, to get depressed, to get, um, you know, um, overly emotional or um, uh, frustrated or whatever the case may be? Or, ha, huh, do I just go, I'm going to let that go. And I choose my emotion to be you know, happiness, bliss, calm, peace, whatever it is. So sometimes you can't do it, obviously, when you're in the heat of the moment. So one of the ways that you can do that, really useful, mindful-based meditation. Um, I do get that I find that um, if you've had severe trauma in your life, um, being mindful is actually quite a challenge. So you need to have a guided meditation to help you now. Um, one that is quite useful um, if you're not sound sensitive I'm quite sound sensitive and I don't like all that noise and, and whatnot. I actually like quiet when I go there but every every person is each to their own um, there is if you go on to YouTube um, you will be able to find uh, Wayne Dwyer I think it's Yap, Japa, the Japa into the gap look up into the gap um, and he talks about how to get into that into the gap is that observer role. It's where we are operating more from a place of um, what's going on rather than being controlled and being caught up in the, the first position, um, emotional, life's happening to me kind of moment, more of the observer role. And he that uh, Japa meditation is really good because it um, drowns out all the noise and uh, the chant or the I don't know some people don't are not into chanting so uh, uh, maybe not a great label but if that label doesn't work for you change the label I would suggest maybe just give it a go and if it works it works it doesn't cost anything so this is my philosophy um, doesn't really matter as long as I learn one new thing I don't really care I don't take everything on board I just take what does work for me so same thing so if you could go on to Wayne's um, channel or just look it up and the and, and go and just jump to the actual Japa meditation and it's into the gap where you sit in the space you let go of everything that is actually the third position that is the our position that is the letting go and let the inner wisdom the self that I've been talking about before your inner source energy then has space to come through and give you the clarity that you need see if you um, oh, who was it that I was listening to once and I, it was such a great analogy um, he said if you um, drop the Eiffel Tower into 
the storm, okay, you wouldn't even notice if you had, you know, the idea of creating the Eiffel Tower. If you're in such a whirlwind and it's such a tornado, which is where our minds are typically at because they're so racing. If we're so caught up in that, you would never have known, you know, that the Eiffel Tower, you could have built that, you could have created that, that that would have created the calm, the financial freedom, whatever it is. You just wouldn't even know, you know, because it, everything's just all crazy in there. You want to be the eye of the storm to get that inner calm. So these owl shoes um, help tap that inner source, that creativity space as well. And it gives you the answers that you need to go, let me have a look that tree doesn't work for me anymore I'm pulling that out or I need answers uh, what do I need to pull out in order to feel calmer happier but you know it, there's one thing observing what's happening in your life so a becoming aware of not playing that that you know I'm, I'm in the, the one position of uh, things happening to me how I'm feeling how I'm feeling do 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 when you get to the third position it gives you the perspective of the immediate surroundings and then you go even to further back um, using something like japa mindful based meditation if you can where it just you go tap into the silence like for me now i can just go straight into that mindful space within minutes literally and look things come and go it's like uh, the drifting of the clouds they call it where the cloud comes and you notice there's a thought your mind's wandered and then you just let it go and don't beat yourself up about it just go oh observe there's the thought you're observing the thoughts so you're now absorb observing the thoughts of you having a look at something so it that's probably the best way i can describe it is where you know it is that next level up um where you're super owl and it's like right let me get those super owl shoes on and i'll go right uh, what are the thoughts that that body is having about that situation so it's a it's a double one you know double take so that that mindfulness you have to have that like each day just give yourself the space of 20 minutes a day um, I like to do it early in the morning where there's less distraction noise calm before the race of the day begins um, and again at night I do it twice um, and I just you know the evening one is more about giving grace and thanks to to the universe you know for what's happened good thing that's happened for the day which also primes you for good sleep during the night to um recap on good things not all the negative stuff that's been going on i don't look at the screen and you know unless it's going to be something that's going to make me laugh or um uh, fill me with joy and then um have that let's just observe you know and we're back down to the the bottom level what good things happened and then i go back into the super owl position where it's like any wisdom that you can impart any lessons you know um insights that i could have had today that would have made it better that i could have done better for next time um and to just give thanks so i hope that you found that really useful um you know it's how we present the information sometimes works um, for some people are not so great for others hopefully I've given you enough analogies there and enough uh, ways to think about oh am I even doing the first step back as the owl or the super owl position um, or how do I'm going to try that meditation let's see you could also go for um, a mindful based meditation um, just tell me what you found useful if you wouldn't mind and pop it in the comments box here or hop over to the Facebook group uh, we'd love to get some kind of feedback here to see if you found this useful or challenging a lot of people find it challenging how to overcome that challenge so let's just get you in the shoes that you're supposed to be wearing and this is this is the thing it's like if I don't know what my shoes are how do I know if I'm wearing the right ones so your shoes your path on your way that's what this is all about empowering you guys this is all about empowering you so let me know if you found that useful i'd really if you did please can you also thumbs up and maybe share with somebody um i would be most grateful if you would uh, because i really my goal here is to reach as many people as possible um, i'm doing it all for free um yes you know i have uh, techniques that that i offer for sale but you don't have to buy those. So all of this other uh, wealth of information is stuff I use every single day with my coaching. So use it, it's free. I'm helping you, I'm here to help you. 
and um, you know I really want you in your own shoes on your own path on your own way so that empowers you thank you so much everyone lots of love and have a wonderful day namaste